there's been a lot that's happened and a lot that the Lord has done um, in and through us. And, and um, I am a perfect example of, of him using broken vessels and, and mm. what other people would throw away as trash or say couldn't do whatever. And they probably are right. And yet God does what he does anyway. And so I'm, I'm thankful for that and thankful for this platform that we can be able to glorify him and talk about him and, and all the good that he does. Compete uh, be because you get to compete. You know, I'm in the NBA because I get to be in the NBA, and the outcome um, is, is not always of your choosing. And, um, you know, Dr. Stanley, Charles Stanley always talks about be obedient and let God deal with the consequences or the results. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been humbling to be here. You know, I, we've we've worked our tails off, but at the same time, you know, to see what the Lord has done uh, here in Phoenix, you know, I, I'd love to sit here and expound on all the plays I draw up and the new drills I come up with, but that's just not the case. There's there's not a coach in the world that goes into the gym and says, "Hey, I hope you guys stink today," and you know, you three don't run back on defense, and I hope you four guys show up late tomorrow. Like nobody does that. We all try to teach good stuff, and I am, I am blown away at what the Lord has done, and it's it's humble, it's it's humbling to see it, but it's also uh, a joy to be a part of it, and uh, I've learned uh, to just do the best I can uh, and rely on Him, but I'm also uh, more grateful for the people that I get to be around and work with. Uh, I didn't think I took. I took that for granted when I was in New Orleans, and now I, I try to enjoy it more.